Good day. Trooper Cody and Steve, except of course you can see it's not Trooper Cody, it's Trooper Wild Bill. We call him Wild Bill after Wild Bill Hickok, but you couldn't get a sweeter horse, he's a lovely boy. And he's helping me with this video, and you'll see why in a minute. He's in his full light horse gear, and this video is about Brigadier General Granville Rayry. I hope I pronounced the name correctly. He's Australian, born in 1865, served in the entire Boer War, uh, 1899-1901, was in the light horse, then when World War I broke out, he was a respected high-ranking officer in the Middle East in the light horse, very well respected in the light horse. When the war was over, he continued in politics and uh, and look, he's got an extensive career. But the point of this video is, he was in the light horse, 1914, 1918, and he was renowned, this is where our Wild Bill comes into it, he was renowned because he had a horse that he loved dearly, and he called that horse Plain Bill. So it wasn't just the average trooper that suffered in 1918 when the they were told the horses weren't coming back to Australia. Some of the high-ranking blokes, they loved their horses, but they still had to suffer the same fate. And so at least Plain Bill didn't get shot or sent to France for meat. It did get sent, but it was such a good horse, it went back to England. So after the war was over, short time after the war was over, Granville Rayry felt so bad and missed his horse so much and was so sad about Plain Bill, good old Plain Bill that he loved, he was so sad, he went searching England to try and find Plain Bill. If you've seen some of my earlier videos, you'll, you'll know I get a bit emotional, I get upset, and sometimes the video cuts out because it's too embarrassing for me that I'm getting so emotional. So when I read about this story about how Ray Ray went on a quest after the war searching England to find the horse that he loved from the Middle East, Plain Bill, I then found out he actually wrote a poem. So here's Granville Ray Ray's poem that he wrote. Old Bill Tis your master calling, he's sick of town and car. I guess your nostrils will tremble and answer wherever you are. For Granville of old in the saddle, with hands like a child's on your rein, the two bills are lonely and homesick and wanting each other again. Now, you know, I've had a bit of trouble getting that poem out because I think to myself that there's a man, an educated man, a, a high-ranking officer, and, and in that line, I guess your nostrils will tremble. And that's what nickering is. Nickering is a <laughs> noise that horses make when they're talking to each other. It's horse communication. If you're a human and a horse nickers to you, that means it's trying to talk to you because it, whatever you want to say, it loves you, it cares for you, it accepts you as part of the herd, whatever. Nickering, a horse nickering to you is a beautiful thing. These boys, they nicker to me every morning when I come out to get the breakfast. I just love it. And so that's where he writes in that line, I guess your nostrils will tremble and answer wherever you are. And horse, old plain Bill, will be nickering. Anyway, it's a very sad poem, really, about, and he never could find plain Bill. He died in 1937, and he had never been able to find Plain Bill or even where Plain Bill 